Hello and welcome to my latest YouTube tutorial. Today I'm going to make some natural shampoo from nettle and calendula. So if you like what you see, remember to hit the like button down below and hit the subscribe button if you want notifications every week of our latest YouTube tutorial. So making nettle and calendula shampoo. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to mix my detergents. Now these are mild plant-based detergents and I'll put the link down below um, for where you can buy them. I buy them online from a company in the UK. Um, they are really mild, they're plant derived as I said. And the reason we use detergents and shampoo is they, um, like they help release any dirt or um, grease that's gathered in the hair. Um, they release the surface tension is what I meant to say. And that helps loosen any dirt or any grease that's kind of gathered in the hair. So they're a really important part of the recipe. Um, this guy here is called Alpha detergent and I'm going to read you out its long name it is Mipa Laureth sulfate cocomidopril betaine but it um, unlike sodium laurel sulfate it's plant derived it's gentle and it's mild so it's not going to strip the oils from your hair and um, so this is alpha and this is beta and beta is like a much milder secondary detergent and it's long name is cocomidopropyl betaine and this is sourced from coconut oil and this guy is sourced from coconut and palm oil and the company i buy from all the palm oil is comes from a sustainable source they're really good on ethical ingredients so i'll put the links down below so these are our two detergents and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to mix them so i have a really nice big bowl here and i'm putting in alpha in here just make sure to squeeze it all out. It's quite viscous and thick and we don't want to leave any, any behind. Uh, and the shampoo I'm making is for, um, is for dry hair. Um, I've colored my hair recently, as you can see, and um, it's dried the, my hair out quite a bit. So uh, my hair is usually greasy. So I am making um, one for dry hair. But if you wanted to swap this up and make it for hair that's uh, oily or greasy or normal, you just um, alter the amounts of alpha and beta. The more um, beta you put in, the milder it's going to be. The less beta you put in, the stronger it's going to be and more suitable for like an oilier hair. Um, so this one is suitable for a dry um, hair and for kind of sensitive scalp as well. So you see, I'm just mixing the two detergents together. And a really important thing here is to not go overboard with the mixing and get them all lathering and foaming because we want as little lathering and as foaming as possible. We are going to get some when we add the water, but we want as little as possible. So that's the detergents mix there. And now I'll put those out of my way. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a herbal infusion. So at this stage, you could just add some water, but um, my scalp has become quite sensitive since I've been bleaching it and coloring it so I want to make something really soothing um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I have gotten 675 mils of boiling water and into it I am going to add some dried calendula herb and calendula is just really lovely and soothing and anti-inflammatory and really nice for your scalp if you find it's a bit dry or it's prone to dandruff or flaking or anything like that and then the next thing I'm going to add is some nettles that I just picked this morning so as we know nettles are full of of minerals but especially silica which is really good for your hair and gives a lovely shine to your hair and is also nice and soothing and great if you're suffering from dandruff or anything like that so nettles are not great this time of year but I found some nice kind of fresh looking tops on some of the nettles so as you'll see a lot of the nettles are in seed right now um, and there's just not much left in the plant all the energy is going to seed so try and really hunt around for something as fresh looking as possible so that is the nettles going in there and I just borrow this for a second and I'm literally just making like if you can see here like a pot of herbal tea so I've got the nettle and the calendula and I have put them in it's a really strong smell from the nettles and now I'm going to pop the lid on top and I'm just going to leave that for about maybe 10 or 15 minutes and then I'm going to strain it off through a sieve with a double layer of muslin cloth okay so we're just going to give that about 10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes now and the herbal infusion has been steeping away here in the pot. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to pour it through the sieve and the double muslin, like I said, into the mixed detergent. So you can see, can you see the nice color that we've gotten from the calendula and the nettle? So you can see that we've extracted any of the water soluble parts. 
So it's all going in there into the detergent and I'm just trying to do it nice and slowly because I really don't want to cause that much frothing uh, and lathering. But we're going to get some, but we're just going to try not to get too much. Okay. And that's more or less it, I'd say. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And I just put that behind me. So, just make sure that there's no dried herb left on the spatula. So you can see here, I just what, what I want to do now is I want to combine the um, detergents and the herbal infusion. So I'm just going as slow as I can because I really don't want to cause too much lathering and foaming. Okay, so it's been combined now. And you can kind of see we've got a nice thick shampoo like texture. We have a fair bit of froth, but that's okay. We can do with a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do now is I am going to add in, a, in an ingredient called Omega. And this is um, like a fat restoring ingredient. It's sourced from olive oil. Again, I'll put the links below where you can buy it. And any of um, the kind of dryness that a shampoo causes by stripping oils, this is going to, this is a really mild shampoo. It's not going to strip a lot of oil, but we're going to put in this ingredient omega derived from olive oil, just to make sure that any oil that has been taken from the hair, we're going to really try and replenish that with some really gorgeous um, olive oil derived fats. So I'm going to put that in, but I'm also going to mix in with it an ingredient called gourgum, gum. And gourgum gum gives like a consistency and a thickness to the product, but it also acts as the conditioner because um, this shampoo is like a two in one. It can be used as a shampoo and conditioner if you find that that suits your hair. So I'm just going to actually put the gourgum gum into the Omega ingredient. And then I am also going to add in some preservative. So you could not use a preservative, but you really want to, you know, keep this well sealed in the bathroom, make sure that it's not getting too warm, I guess. And it's hard to do that in the bathroom. You may even want to keep it in the fridge. And we've used a herbal infusion and we've used fresh herbs, like fresh nettle that I've literally just picked. So we really do need to use a preservative here to make sure that everything is kind of looked after and nothing weird is going to start growing on our shampoo. So I'm using 10 mils of preservative and this is a really lovely plant-based preservative. Again, I'm going to put the links in down below it's my favorite one to use it's known as eco preservative in the business because um it's actually organic it has an organic cert it's a really really lovely preservative to use really easy to work with and um, it's going to give this a shelf life of two years which is really amazing for a natural product so what's important about mixing these guys together first is i really want to get all of the lumps out of the gore gum because it's a lumpy kind of powdery ingredient so I just want to get all those out and I'm actually going to bring in a little bit of this in here like this to mix around. Okay, so now that we have mixed all of the gourgum, gum, the preservative and the omega together with a little bit of the detergent and infusion, I'm just going to put that back in. It's just an easier way of mixing it because we really don't want there to be lumps of gourgum gum in um, our shampoo. And then you can see our shampoo is really lovely and thick actually. And sometimes this can be a little watery. And what I always say is that it'll thicken as it cools anyway. So bear that in mind when you're making it. And also it's not gonna be as thick as conventional shampoo. They have lots of ingredients added to keep it a certain thickness and consistency. But this is really, really nice, I think. Okay, so the final thing that we're going to add into this is some essential oils. Um, but I want this to cool down to under 30 degrees Celsius before I add any essential oils. So we're just going to leave this sit and cool for a little bit. Okay, so the shampoo mix has now cooled down and it's ready for its final ingredient, which is some essential oil. Now you can leave this out, but it would be really nice to give it a scent as well, um, especially when it's kind of therapeutic too. So I am going to add some lavender essential oil and I'm putting in about three mils, just a little under three mils of lavender essential oil. And then I want to put in a couple of drops of Alang Alang because I really like the smell of that in my shampoo. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think that's loads. And that's it. That's the shampoo ready. 
So I'll try and let you see the consistency here and then I'll pour it in here. It smells really nice. It's good to have a spatula here because you know a lot of it's going to get stuck to that big bowl. Then to pour it into the bottles, I'm just going to use a little funnel and then in we go. And that's it. That's natural shampoo. Really, really easy to make once you get the right ingredients. And of course, I'll put the link down below um, to show you where you can buy those ingredients. And if you've liked what you've seen today, please do subscribe. We have new videos coming every single week on how to make your own toiletries, skincare. Um, we're going to start doing some lovely vegan food as well. So please hit the subscribe button down below and we'll see you again next week. Mm -hmm.